Top 5 Best Drawing Tablets of 2022 Are you looking for the best tablets for graphic design? Whether that be for illustration, drawing, or art, we've got you covered. Many artists, illustrators, and graphic designers have started to turn towards using tablets to complete their art projects. A good tablet offers an artist a light, handy, responsive, and electronic option to get projects done even when they aren't at the office. Although everyone will have different requirements, these are the best drawing tablets for graphic designers in 2022. For more information about these products, check out the link in the description below with the updated price. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let's get started. Number 1. ZenSense Pen Tablet Medium Bundle For our money, the best drawing tablet you can get right now is the ZenSense Pen Tablet Medium. ZenSense is a relative newcomer to the market, and while the name sounds like it might be yet another cheap Chinese knockoff brand, its designers cut their teeth at Wacom and the results speak for themselves. This is an outstanding drawing tablet that's beautifully designed and hits the absolute sweet spot of price and quality. When we tried the tablet, we found the texture of the drawing area to be just right, with the perfect level of bite against the stylus that makes it highly satisfying to use. The tablet also comes with two styluses bundled in, a regular and a slim version, and allows you to customize them pretty extensively. This is a handy way to set the two styluses up for different uses. Ergo, having one optimized for line drawing and the other for shading. Pressure sensitivity and tilt sensitivity are excellent. While we think this tablet is well-priced, if it's out of your budget, ZenSense also offers a cheaper, smaller version of the tablet that delivers a similarly premium drawing experience. Specifications Active drawing area, 10.3 by 5.8 inches. Pen pressure sensitivity, 8192. Connections, USB-C to USB-A. Reasons to buy. Fantastic build quality. Lovely drawing experience, accessories included. Reasons to avoid. Requires external display. Number 2. Wacom Cintiq 16. If you're after a larger display, see the Wacom Cintiq 22, or for a similar display, the 13.3-inch Wacom 1. The gorgeous display accentuates the quality that Wacom brings to the tablet marketplace. The Sync 16 from Wacom is a perfect example that a high-quality tablet doesn't need to cost a small fortune. For any designer just beginning their career, this is a great tablet to start with. The very first question which comes to mind is, which tablet is best for graphic design? The Cintiq 16 from Wacom is the best tablet for graphic design because of its incredible blend of value, size, and performance. It is an incredible entry-level tablet that is more attractively priced than other similar tablets. Being entry-level may invite some designers to dismiss it. The Cintiq 16 has a trick up its sleeve, the Wacom Pro Pen 2. Topping out at 8,192 levels of sensitivity, the pen beats out many tablets that are similarly priced. Specifications Active drawing area 16.6 by 11.2 inches Pen pressure sensitivity 8,192 levels Connections Micro USB Bluetooth OS Windows or Mac OS Reasons to buy Nice large screen Easy to set up Wacom's best pen ever No charging needed Reasons to avoid No multi-touch support not 4K. Number 3. Apple iPad Pro With its new Apple M1 chip and brilliant 12.9-inch Liquid Retina XDR display with ProMotion, True Tone, and P3 Wide Color, the iPad Pro from Apple, 2021, performs better than ever. Using the Apple Pencil, sold separately, of course, is a dream, and the iPad comes with some neat features to make it worth getting one, including 5G support, 
features, such as automatically charging the pencil when it's attached magnetically at the top of the tablet, make it stand out, and the pencil feels good in your hand, and is incredibly accurate along with a perfect sensitivity curve. Of course, any high-end Apple product isn't going to be cheap, but if you can afford it, the iPad Pro is like no other tablet out there. It's Apple's best tablet, after all. Specifications Active drawing area 10.32 by 7.74 inches Resolution 2732 by 2048 Pen pressure sensitivity Not specified Requires optional Apple Pencil Connections Lightning Bluetooth Wi-Fi OS iPad OS 13.4 Reasons to buy, trackpad support, beautiful display, stylus is responsive and comfortable, snappy performance with A12Z processor. Reasons to avoid, not suitable for heavy tasks. Number 4, XP Pen Artist Pro 16. Alongside Huion, the other company that's made great advances in the drawing tablet market is XP Pen and the XP Pen Artist Pro 16 is a great example of its range, providing a professional drawing experience at a surprisingly affordable price. It's an upgrade version of the Innovator 16 that provides a fantastic drawing surface, complete with 99% Adobe RGB coverage and hardly any parallax. The XP Pen Artist Pro 16's new stylus comes with an intelligent chip, says XP Pen, gives you 10 times more touch sensitivity than previous offerings. This allows for some real lightness of touch when it comes to making fine lines, requiring just 3G of pressure to make a mark. Having dual dials and eight customizable shortcut buttons makes controlling the Artist Pro 16 a pleasingly tactile process, as does the all-metal casing that surrounds it. The lack of an included stand is a little disappointing, and some monitor setups may require a bit of a mess of cables to get working, which may annoy those who prefer a clean desktop. But otherwise, this is an impressive, sleek, tempting tablet. Specifications Active drawing area 13.42 by 7.55 inches Resolution 1920 by 1080 Full HD Pen pressure sensitivity 8,192 levels. Connections. USB-C. OS. Windows or Mac OC. Reasons to buy. Excellent drawing feel. Minimal parallax. Comfortable pen for graphic design. High resolution and slim build. Large and smooth drawing area. Reasons to avoid. No stand included. Screen could be brighter. Number 5. Wacom Cintiq 22 Wacom used to have the drawing tablet pretty much all to itself, but in recent years a whole load of Challenger brands have turned up to take a bite out of its lunch, especially at the cheaper end of the market. However, despite increased competition, the Wacom name is still very much one to be reckoned with, and as far as we're concerned, the Wacom Cintiq 22 is definitely one of the best drawing tablets you can get. With a 22-inch display, this is a serious tablet with a lot of room to play. It is full HD resolution, not as many pixels as some newer, flashier tablets, but is more than enough for most people. You can get sharper screens on other Wacom tablets, but they tend to cost more. And this model is all about bringing Wacom quality with an affordable price tag. And let's not forget that plenty of tablets, ZenSense included, don't have a screen at all. What really makes the Cintiq 22 such a pleasure to use is the Wacom Pro Pen 2. With a whole 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity, as well as tilt sensitivity, Wacom has been in this game a long time, and it's hard to imagine an artist with any complaints about the Pro Pen 2. It just works really, really well. An advantage of Wacom tablets for students and those looking to break into digital art professionally is that it's pretty much the industry standard, so learning to use one is a very good step to take. This doesn't mean you shouldn't consider other tablets, 
it's just something to bear in mind. Specifications. Active drawing area. 19.5 by 11.5 inches. Resolution. 1920 by 1080. Pen pressure sensitivity. 8192 levels. Connections. HDMI, USB 2. OS. Windows or Mac OS. Reasons to buy. Excellent pressure sensitivity. Fantastic price. Nice large screen. Easy to set up. Wacom's best pen ever. No charging needed. Reasons to avoid. Not 4K. No built-in express keys. Thank you for watching this video and hope it was helpful. You can find the products in the links below in the description. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel for the newest videos. Feel free to comment with a video recommendation you would like to see and what your thoughts are on these suggestions. We look forward to seeing you in the next video.